Climate change is a huge threat for California's water supply. And that's because um, basically we're living in an arid landscape. We're living in a desert. Uh, the statistic is that um, two-thirds of the water, of the precipitation that uh, falls in California falls north of about Sacramento, and two-thirds of the population and the water use occurs south of Sacramento. Um, so uh, we're living in the wrong places. We should all be living in Redding, uh, and uh, things would be much simpler. But also, uh, the rain falls at the wrong time. Most of the rain falls in the winter between October and March. 75% of all the water used in California is used between April and September. So the uh, precipitation falls in the wrong location and at the wrong time of year. And in order for us to have 36 million people living happily and in prosperity in California, we have a huge engineering system which stores the water so uh, we can use it in the late spring and summer even though that's not when it rains and which moves it around so we can live in the Bay Area and Southern California even though most of the rain occurs in the northern Sacramento Valley. So we rely on transportation but we rely on storage to uh, take the winter rain and snow and make it available in the summer when we really need it. We rely on the snowpack in the Sierras for about a third of our major storage. And one of the effects of climate change is that with warmer winters, um, we're not going to have that much snow. In fact, the snowpack may uh, almost entirely vanish by the end of the century. So we lose uh, a significant chunk of our storage which we really can't afford to lose. And what that means is um, uh, less certain water supply. Moreover, in addition to the winter storage, the uh, projections suggest that we will have more dry years. Uh, our weather and our precipitation is tremendously variable. So if you look at the average rainfall in California the, uh, over the last uh, 90 years, the rainfall has uh, varied between about one-third of average to about three or four times average, a, a, a tenfold range. So you can have a wet year, but then you can have a bunch of dry years before you get another wet year. The projections are that that variability increases, and we're more likely to have uh, longer runs of dry years and deeper droughts. We deal with those, again, by storage, uh, by carrying over storing water in wet years for use in dry years, but we may have longer droughts and more severe droughts than we've experienced in the past. And so that's a major challenge to the reliability of our water supply.